And at the end of the day, let's not get it twisted. You are putting a foreign object. Why do I keep saying one? It's two. Two for a pair of foreign objects into your chest. I honestly haven't even talked to my mother about it. I'm a... Hello, beautiful human beings. Welcome back to the Truth Series, which is the most recent series that I'm doing on my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Aveda, I'm from Canada. If you're returning, our next topic, my friends, is going to be boobs. As part of this Truth Series that I started, there's a few topics that I really, really wanna talk about that I feel like when you go on social media, for me personally, when I was going on social media looking for information, um, about these topics. I found that a lot of stuff out there kind of just talked maybe about the more glamorous side of things or like, you know, it's a highlight reel. You know, some people maybe don't like talking about maybe the not so pretty side, the not so glamorous side, the not so, I don't know, the gross side of things. This is actually a video that I, a video series that I've wanted to make for a couple of years now what the experiences was beforehand, going into surgery, the recovery, and even months after that. So let's just kick it off by starting with, I had breast augmentation surgery in 2015 in November. It is now 2018, or it is now 2019. And so it's been over three years. Trust me when I tell you I spent hours and hours and hours scouring the internet, trying to find all the information I could so that I could make an educated decision about all of the options that you're faced with. But even going before that, even when I was considering a, a breast augmentation, I'm gonna explain a little bit of maybe why and maybe some of you can relate. When I hit puberty, you know, I just never really, that wasn't a part of my body that ever really developed. My older sister had, you know, bigger boobs. I thought maybe when I got older that, that something would just happen, but it never did, which is fine. I actually had a B cup, which is like fine. Throughout my 20s, I, you know, was insecure about that area of my body. I always wore like those water bras. I don't know if that's going to age me or not, if you remember those or if they even still make them. And definitely always padded bras. Even when I played sports, I would wear two bras just to kind of like make it look like I had something there. When I got even older, say hit mid 20s to late 20s, I experienced a dramatic weight loss related to depression. Um, you know, I was coming out around that time. You can watch other videos about that. I was not eating properly, um, over exercising, so I got quite thin. When I lost all the breast tissue I had that was there before, um, when I lost the weight and when I started really focusing on bodybuilding, I had goals of competing in a bikini contest or a figure competition or something like that down the road, which I ended up doing. And I, I felt like I wanted to not look like some sort of super masculine person when I was putting on all this muscle. And trust me, I don't feel this way anymore. This is how I felt back then. And I thought that having, you know, breast augmentation, getting fake boobs would balance me out, make me look more feminine. I was so insecure about who I was at that time. And specific, and also just being a, a queer woman, a gay woman, I just, you know, I wanted to still be in touch with my femininity and I, do, I wasn't. And I didn't understand what femininity was and that it doesn't, it's not boobs, but at the time, that's kind of where I was. <laughs> that's what I thought. I ended up moving from a smaller town to a bigger city, making some new friends, and actually met a, a couple of people that had had augmentations done, so I actually got to speak with them. They had doctors in the city, and this is about the time I got, I just started my relationship with Skylar, and like really, we just started dating um, in, in June and I decided to do this in November. So I brought it up to Skylar out like in September, in the fall. And they just were like, sure, I mean, like if you want to. They didn't know me long enough to make that decision for me. They just knew that they liked me and that if this is something that I wanted, they were gonna support me, whatever I did. So I just kind of decided I would go for it and, you know, to get the, the finances together to make it happen. And 
I just kind of put on tunnel vision once I made that decision and I was like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I contacted a doctor. I started looking on the internet. I started watching lots of boob vlogs, trying to find information. And I actually have some old footage that I'm gonna play for you of me in my mindset right before I had this surgery done. Um, in this series, I wanna play back a few videos um, I apologize in advance that the quality isn't so great because I did film these in 2015 and did not have the technology I have now. So I've been kind of a nervous wreck or just really anxious in the last few days and it's because I've decided to get um, a boob job and it's not something I just randomly decided but it is a decision that I've finally really made. I have been back and forth just with so many things, one being this size and that's something that I've seen on a lot of boob vlogs um, on YouTube and stuff like that and uh, many of the girls surprisingly all wish they'd gotten bigger than they would gotten and I look at all of them like oh my gosh like those are big. <laughs> So I decided um, on 350 cc's. Um, my doctor, that's what he suggested. I was looking at three between 325 and 350, and I kind of battled back and forth because I was afraid that they're going to look too big, and you know they're not going to suit my body and be in proportion to my frame. I'm very small. I think I've I've come to that decision already. At least not already. It's been it's like I'm, my surgery is in five days, so I finally have just like put my foot down it's 350 cc's I've decided to really keep this to myself and not really tell family and too many friends uh, I've just told Skylar my partner and um, a couple of very close friends like I'm a very private person so I feel like this is a very private and personal decision and it's not something I feel like I need to talk to a lot of people about but honestly I haven't talked to my family about it because I'm afraid of their their judgments or reactions to it and I just don't want any kind of negative response because it's something that I really want to do and um, and I'm afraid maybe they won't understand that because it's not obviously something I've talked about a lot to many people. I am nervous as well because I am a very active person um, so I'm nervous about that and nervous about how I'm going to feel getting back into it because I've been so used to like this body for so long and I'm not sure how um, my body's going to be when I want to like work out the way that I, I do now. So I'm nervous about that too. I've been assured that I can return to everything um, within four to six weeks and all that. But, you know, I, I'm just, you just, the fear of the unknown. I'm someone who usually has everything figured out. So this is the first time where I'm not quite sure how everything's going to unfold. And I, and I don't know what I'm going to look like. And that's a weird feeling too because I have done the whole putting rice into a stocking and putting it in a shirt and try to get an idea for size. But at the end of the day, that you have no idea what it's actually going to look like. So um, I'm just like been looking at people that have the same frame as me or got the same size as me um, and just kind of been obsessed with boobs in general for the past like few months. We, me and Skylar went and um, got me a bra the other day because I don't, I don't really even have a regular bra. I have just sports bras, really. Like, that's all I have. And so we picked up one that's kind of the estimated size that I might be and put the little stockings of rice in there because um, the day is coming up and I just wanted to really get a feel for it. And, I mean, it made me, it makes me happy and excited and, uh, but at the same time, yet yeah, just nervous. Tried to take some before photos earlier today. Um, that did not go over well. I had to put on my bathing suit tops and stand, and I just, I'm, I just, I'm not comfortable like that. Like if anything, I'm mostly comfortable in a sports bra. I like things up to my neck, like full coverage. I'm not like a low cut person. I don't like the little triangle bathing suit tops, and I don't like being in them. I feel I just don't feel sexy. I don't feel womanly. I feel very flat chested and I feel a sporty and athletic, but I don't feel like very feminine. So I feel like this is 
something that, you know, why not? If I can do it, why not? Why not have a little more fun? Why not feel better about myself? Why not change something that if I could change on my own, I would, but I can't. So I, I just wanted to kind of document my feelings and stuff right now and uh, and see how they change in the next week and, and during post-surgery, all that sort of thing. Because I do feel like this is going to change a lot for me, the way that I view myself, the way that I, you know, repre like present myself, carry myself, how, what clothes I might wear in the future, you know, all these things. So I'm really interested to see how this experience, this journey, you know, is going to affect me. And I'll check in in a few more days. I kind of put my trust in the physician that they knew what would be best because they do these surgeries all the time. I didn't know really um, what size I wanted. I didn't know like how many cc's and you know I didn't really know what would look best on me proportionally. I really didn't, I didn't know if I wanted silicone or saline. I just knew that I wanted perfect boobs. I trusted that this doctor would do that for me. I don't know if he really took into account how physically Act, how physically active I am. My passion is the gym. My passion is fitness. My passion is like challenging myself in like all kinds of different athletic endeavors, full contact sports, bodybuilding, all of that. And I don't think he really understood that. And also he didn't really explain to me um, how it could affect my performance or my experience as an athlete. I put rice in a sock, which is what you, they tell you to do, and stuck it in my bra in different sizes and was like, I think I want this size. Not understanding what it means to have that size of a breast or two for the rest of your life. And at the end of the day, let's not get it twisted. You are putting a foreign object. Why do I keep saying one? It's two. Two for a pair of foreign objects into your chest and I decided to go under the muscle because I wanted a more natural look. I thought that physically it would be less painful if I was still working out to have it underneath than over and what that means is he had to cut through all of the pec muscles that I had had built up over the years. I used to do a lot of pull-ups, a lot of push-ups, I worked my chest all the time and put these implants underneath and then sewed me back up like that is going to change a person that is going to change the way that you feel when you are lifting weights and working out and even when you're sleeping when you're laying on your stomach when you are sitting at a desk i have never before experienced the kind of neck pain shoulder pain when i'm working at my desk every day i've never been comfortable since I had my surgery sleeping. Um, I have yet to find a bra that I feel good in. I just feel like no one ever told me or no one ever talked about on social media about how uncomfortable breast implants can be. I think they're even more uncomfortable if you're more athletic or if you don't have a lot of fat tissue. And so I had like hardly any breast tissue and it was very lean at the time, much leaner than I am now. And even though I've gained, say, almost maybe seven or eight pounds since then, they're, I'm still, they're just still constantly uncomfortable. When I'm at the gym, um, after I work out, my muscles get really super tight in my chest and it literally feels like two rocks on my chest and it feels hard to breathe. And I think that lends to feelings of anxiety because I do experience anxiety. And so just the physical feeling of this weight on your chest, like I can tell when I'm not stressed and I'm more relaxed, the muscles relax, everything like sits lower, things look more natural. But for the most part, I work out five days a week. I do intense CrossFit training right now. Everything tightens up and it's literally the most crazy uncomfortable feeling ever. I'm not, and I'm also not trying to make this video to complain. I just really want to give you the other side of it. You'll hear in a lot of videos out there, like I love them and I wore this and I'm so happy in my bikini and my confidence and everything's changed and no regrets. And it's like, that's not my story. And for a long time, I was embarrassed to talk about it. I honestly haven't even talked to my mother about it. She does watch my videos. So hi mom, I just didn't want to talk about it with you. <laughs> 
because it was something that I'm just, I want this decision that I made, I wanted to make it solely on my own. And then once I made it, I kind of haven't ever fully been happy. And so then that kind of sucks. And then you're like, damn it, my mom, my mom was right. Ah! So yeah, the scars healed and everything's healed now. And I'm sure most people would be like, oh, they look great. I did get a lot of pressure from the research that I did and even from my physician about going bigger than smaller. And even in my video before I went right in, just days before my surgery, you know, it was in my ear that, you know, everybody wishes they've gotten bigger once they've, you know, had them done. And I can honestly tell you, I definitely have not wished I've ever gotten them bigger. And I would actually wish that I would have gotten them smaller, but truthfully, I wish I had never even gotten them at all. Just to go back to, if, if it's because you think that this is gonna make you feel a different way about yourself, I'm here to say that it did not work for me. I am even, I'm just as self-conscious about my chest, if not more. I don't like wearing low cut things. I don't like wearing skimpy things. I don't like things that are, you know, focused on my chest. I've been to the nude beaches with my friends year after year. I still don't want to take my top off. Things like that, that I was like, before I had the surgery, I am exactly the same. Like nothing has changed. And the other truth is, is that you do have to realize that even if you scrounge together the money to pay for it now, you're still gonna have to pay for another surgery in five, 10 years from now, and then another one, and then another one. And whether you need to get them out and reconstructive surgery, if you have any kind of issues with them or you have some sort of physical rejection of them, because no, not every surgery is gonna go perfectly, it is a risk. You're gonna have to get more surgeries, you're gonna have to spend more money and Honestly, if I could talk to myself now, talk to the person that you just saw on video there, now I would be like, do not get it. You are going to hate it. Your passion is more being able to do pull-ups and burpees and sprint and play sports and like not be self-conscious at the gym every time you work out and not be thinking about your boobs every time you get dressed. That's not where your focus and energy needs to be. That's my reality. Um, if I can help one person change their mind about doing something like this and saving themselves thousands of dollars and, and pain and restless nights and even illness, because there are definitely, there's so much research out there now about breast implant illness and so many symptoms that women are experiencing that, you know, maybe the cosmetic industry does not want us to hear about, but it is a reality. And I definitely felt some of those symptoms as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I don't post regularly. I post sporadically. And if you hit the little bell, you'll actually see when my videos come up. So thank you so much. As always, I love you all. You're all beautiful human beings, every one of you. And I hope this video helps somebody out there. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one.